Okay, before I tell you guys the difference of sunscreen, sunblock, and broad spectrum, it's very important that you guys know what the SPF stands for, UV stands for, and um, how does it affect our skin. SPF stands for sun protection factor. This refers to the ability to deflect the UV rays. So you will usually see SPF 10 to, I think I've seen 70, which doesn't actually make sense. So the minimum at least SPF that you should apply your skin is SPF 15. Well, the highest you could apply to your skin is SPF 50, guys. SPF 50. So not 60, not 51, not 75. That is the highest SPF number you could apply to your skin. Now, UV stands for ultraviolet. And there's three kinds of UV so you want to protect your skin. So there's UVA, UVB, and UVC. Luckily, some parts of the ozone layer still protects us from UVC because that's actually deadly. While the UVA and UVB, we can still kind of apply something on our face to protect us from that. You want to know what's the difference of UVB and UVA so that you guys don't get confused. She read this online easier way for you to remember the difference of the two. When you hear UVB, think about burning for B. And if you hear UVA, think about aging for A. So UVB actually, when it hits your skin, it actually targets the skin surface. So usually when you see a product that says, you know, it protects you from UVB, it actually protects you from sunburn. Well, when you see UVA, it protects you from skin aging because it actually targets underneath your skin. So that's where you develop um, sunspots. So we see this a lot in the market. It says sunblock, sunscreen, and broad spectrum. Sunblock protects you from UVB, while sunscreen protects you from UVA. So majority of makeups, they do have this kind of protection especially primers or uh, like a BB cream, they claim that it comes, it has SPF, like it has sunscreen and SPF, I would say 15 to 30. And it's because obviously they concentrate on the appearance of your skin. So it targets um, and protects your skin, but that doesn't really protect your skin on all the UV rays that's bad for your skin. When you say sunblock, it actually blocks the sun from burning your skin. Me personally, I would prefer a broad spectrum because broad spectrum actually protects you from UVB and UVA. These are the products that I am using um, that I actually really, really tested and I did not get sunburn. So when I went back home to the Philippines, it was super, super, super hot and we were at the beach for I believe four days and so I made sure that I really applied the proper SPF. So as I mentioned a while ago, you have to at least apply SPF 15 in your skin but since I know we were going to be in the beach, I wanted to look for a higher SPF. So I got SPF 30 and these products from Kula are seriously amazing. Um, first of all, they are cruelty free and their packaging is so cute. Well, I didn't really went. I, I didn't really go there to tan or swim. I actually just went there to hang out with my family because I don't really need tanning because I'm already tan. So I used the SPF 30 Sport from Kula. Prior of using this, um, I used to use. I think it's from Banana Boat, and it's the Sport one too. Same thing as this, and it's a bro it's a broad spectrum. And that one had, has a higher SPF, but I just like this better because it's spray and that one was like a lotion formula. So this one is for my body. And then before I apply my makeup, I actually uh, use this too. Uh, for my primer, I use the Kula Daydream Mineral Primer and this one has SPF 30. And then for my makeup base, this is what I use on a daily basis. This is the Naked Urban naked skin beauty balm and this has broad spectrum spf 20 so this is what i use on a daily basis as my spf on my face and i really really love it 
and when i was at the beach i don't use this on a daily basis by the way um just when i really know i'm gonna go to like in a very sunny place or whatever this is the spf uh, this is the makeup setting spray with spf 30 and this is from kula as well so when i was there out in the sun i would apply this on my body and then apply obviously the primer and then i will seal my makeup with um the setting spray um honestly even though it doesn't work it doesn't really the spf doesn't really get add up i just like to you know apply more spf for protection just in case i get wet and you know the spf comes off so that's the only reason but yeah so those are the products that i really really love i hope you guys will learn again something from this video and i hope you guys are able to shop better when in regards to sunblock sunscreen and broad spectrum and how high or low the spf you should use so yeah i will link more information down in below and if you guys want to know where i got these products i will link all the information or all the spf that i've been using at the moment and as always thank you for watching